This Qigong pattern is called a Toryu or Tuo Yao, and it means turning the waist. So the move's driven by the center, driven by the abdominal muscles. But let's look at a couple key points. So first off, I need to push off of my front foot, sink down into the back foot. Push off of the back foot, drop my weight into the front foot. Shift to the back foot, sink down. Push off of the back foot, sink down. So it's simply just a shifting of the weight to the back, aligning myself over the back foot, shifting my weight over the front, aligning myself over the front foot. Back and front. So the exercise is really excellent to mobilize the pelvic structure, so let's start with that. I'm going to push off the front foot, but I have to allow the structure to widen in the front. So one of the markers I have for that is that my legs have an open structure because the pelvic structure is opened. So it's not simply just turning the hips 45, that keeps everything narrow, but I have to turn, open, expand. That gives me space to drop and sink into. Push the back foot, close the pelvis, that space starts to narrow. So it narrows and closes, expands and opens. Narrows and closes, expands and opens. and closes. So it also mobilizes the lower rib cage. So as I go into the back foot, my hands come together. Why do my hands come together? Because everything compresses and comes together inside, so that drives the hands. As I push up on the foot, everything expands and opens. So I get broader in the lower rib cage, and that opens the hands. Push, expand out. Hands come together because everything pulls together inside. Hands open and expand. Sink, expand. So a couple points. When you're on the back foot, Everything's compressed. I want to still have an intention as if I'm forward. My hands can be at 45, they're right over the body, but I'm not turned towards the 45 with intention that way, intention still forward. So that's key point number one. Another one is that I don't want to turn my hips too quick and then just throw myself into the front foot. I need to Take the time to open the structure, push the foot, drop into the front foot. So don't be in a rush to get to the front foot, don't be in a rush to turn the hips. So it opens the hands, that driving up, that pushing, starts a turning, opens the hands, expands me forward. Close the hands, Compress and narrow the midsection. Open, expand.
So we'll look at the other side. I'm going to turn the foot to 45. I have a straight line out from the toe going behind the heels. I bring my weight over the front foot, hands out comfortably, not leaning, but I have a nice stretch forward. Sink my weight into the back foot, keep the structure open, push my weight into the front foot, expand. Back foot, front foot. Back foot, and front foot. So points were that I don't want to lose my alignment. I need to turn, open, widen, expand the pelvic area, push, narrow, close the pelvic area. Open, expand, so everything widens. Turn and close, everything narrows. Push back, everything narrows. Open, as I push the foot, that starts to open the rib cage. Everything expands. Close the rib cage, narrows. Open the rib cage, expands. Close the rib cage, narrow. Open, expand. Last thing is I don't want to rush off my back foot. I don't want to turn the hips too quick. I don't want to dive into the front foot. I want to take my time and let that push drive up through the body, expand, and sink into the front foot.